Tonight in the History B, we have the following teams competing. Antique Medicine Cabinets, Cleveland Browns, Just Winging It, Killer Bees, LLC, Mama Bees Team, Team Daily, The Great Gatsby's, The Mighty Mars, The Thrive Hive, United Way Board. So at any rate, obviously I'm a, I'm a volunteer host here um, for uh, for the afternoon. So thanks for uh, plugging in and playing and supporting United Way. Um, we're going to start with um, basically uh, uh, the basics of the game here. So let me go over um, kind of what it would look like, right? So um, <clears throat> um, I'm going to read 10 multiple choice questions per round. You're going to have 30 second inter intervals this time. So obviously um, <clears throat> a little less than you had for art. Um, but you're going to be able to see the questions and also see your multiple choice um, uh, responses. Uh, during the second intervals, you can deliberate back and forth with one another. Um, you could even go back to something that I had previously read. Um, you're going to uh, pick a scribe, and that scribe is going to be somebody who uh, is going to write down the final answers for each question. In what state was Dolly Parton born and raised? <laughs> what do you think? Tom? I wish I knew more about Dolly Parton. It's either K Kentucky or Tennessee, right? I'm thinking, yeah. She was Tennessee all the way. They're going to do a statue of her. <laughs> what chemical used by clothing manufacturers of the Victorian era easily burns when near a flame? Is this Maybe. accidentally a STEM question? Yeah, well, this is out of place, the history. Science and history. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. Arsenic. Mm. Yeah. I don't. I don't think the I don't other know ones that are for used. Sure, but I think that's the only one I I know the word. I want to say C. Arsenic. I'm gonna say, okay. I want to say C too. I want to say C. And I'll say it too. We'll all say it together. And then we can all be right or wrong together. <laughs> Next. Which science fiction author wrote The Invisible Man? I think it's H. G. Wells. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what a question to ask some librarians. <laughs> hey, we gotta get something here for science. <laughs> In what city did the Stonewall riots break out on June 28, 1969, as part of the growing movement for gay rights? New York City. Yeah, let's go with New York City. Okay, which underground rooms were a common feature of many ancestral Pueblo societies? Kivas. Do you guys know? I was going to say, terraces seem above. Yeah. I'm going to say Kivas. By what age was Alexander Hamilton placed in charge of a training charter according to the popular musical Hamilton? I just watched this like a couple months ago. But... 14? I have no idea, but you told us if it was in Hamilton that you would know. <laughs> and you really to the Come on. It had to be like the opening song or something. I was wondering if we were actually going to sing uh, Hamilton there when you had mentioned you listened to that. So. Scott, could you please sing the opening song to Hamilton right now before the time's up? You're not throwing all your shots, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> You're not By age 14, I was in charge of Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. What is the world's oldest annual foot race? Annual? I don't know. Annual? Annual? Let's go Boston. Boston. Okay, Judge John A. Howard, the first African-American judge in Lorain County, was appointed as presiding judge of the Elyria Municipal Court in what year? I would say early, 76 or 84, maybe. Yeah, I was uh, thinking 84. Rebecca, born and raised. It's one of the first two. I was thinking 1984, but. I think you're right, Abner. The which of the following organizations founded in 1917 was a predecessor to the United Way of Greater Lorain County? It's on. It's Monopoly up in Lorain County. Yeah. I was kidding about it, John. No, don't put it. I think the chest piece rings a bell. Nah. So I was thinking to sing, but I don't know. Which of the following is not true about Harriet Tubman? I feel like she did everything, Don. 
he lead a military expedition? D, D no, D, all are true. D, all are true. Okay. Yeah, she I just read a biography on her, too. So. Yeah. She would have made it. my borrowing record, <laughs>
I'm gonna say it's a. I want to say yeah, I was thinking a, a too. Yeah, a. A. Who was the designer of Sesame Street's core cast of Muppet characters, the Muppets? For Sesame Street? Mm-hmm. He did yeah, both the Muppets and really? Sesame Street. Yeah. I did not know that. Which couple of former vaude villains appeared as Lucy and Ricky's landlords and friends in I Love Lucy? Fred and Ethel, Mertz. Agreed. I have no idea. <laughs> You're too young, John. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell me when the city of Avon Lake officially became a city, please. Have that on the darn thing when you drive are you, in. Are you both in Avon Lake currently, right no. now? No, definitely not. I may have lived in Avon Lake most of my life, and I have <laughs> no idea. It's A or B because it's definitely not D. Yeah. Who is Thomas Folger? I thought it was invented coffee. I know the house right on 83 and Lake. <laughs> I'm thinking he was, I'm thinking Mayor of Valyria. What was the working title of the film Titanic? C or D, I would guess. My gut says D, but my gut's often wrong. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't or I know it wasn't B. Planet Ice doesn't sound right either. <laughs> That's just weird. <laughs> I think that was A. Last one here. What crops were grown on the farm where Taylor Swift grew up? Question mark? Probably C. She wrote, <laughs> she wrote a song about December, didn't she? Right. <laughs> Christmas trees. You know that? I, I'm guess. I think the kids told me something about that. I learned this. From well, them. yeah, they're they're fans. You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. I'm not a t- right. Christmas trees. Oh my goodness! This is a Susan question, people. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciated this question, Ashley. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a Swift. I'm a Swifty. Check out LorraineLocal.com, where you'll find the digital version of Lorraine Local Magazine, live 24-7 views of our harbor, compliments of Erie Shore Rentals and Detailing, and many other exciting things, including chances to win local prizes. We are here to celebrate our Great Lake City on our Great Lake Coast. And we invite you to experience the Lorraine Renaissance happening now. We are Lorraine Locals, and we are Lorraine Proud. For tonight's at-home game, we have a series of before and after puzzles. We will give you two hints of names, words, or phrases that flow into each other. For example, what is a 1987 Jennifer Grey and Patrick Swayze movie and a reality show with judges Len Goodman, Carrie Ann Inaba and Bruno Tonioli. Dirty Dancing we with the Stars. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors.
We're in the semifinal round here. So in rotating order, each of the final four teams will have a chance to answer up to five multiple choice questions during a 60 second time period. Questions will be read aloud by the host, which is Ashley, and displayed on the shared screen. When the first question is answered correctly, a new question will be read and displayed on the screen to answer, and so on. The period ends when a team answers all five questions, or they get one question wrong, or the 60 second time limit ends, whichever comes first. So I like to talk through that part. So you're going to get a question. If you get it correct, you move on and you get another question and that will continue as long as you get them right up until the 60 second time limit. If you get a question wrong at any point, your turn in the rotation is over. So if it's the first question and it's only been 10 seconds, but you get it wrong, your turn in the rotation is over and we move on to the next team. Which animated show was set in a comical version of the Stone Age? The Flintstones. In what year was Nintendo founded? I guess it would be D, but I'm not even sure. That was my first thought, so we might as well just go with it. D, final answer. Incorrect. It is 1889. Wow. Out of here. Which dog became the first animal to orbit Earth? C, Waika. That is correct. Which of the following represents the earliest time period? Is it A or B? Go with A. A. That is correct. In what year was the Thomas Folger House built? Should we pass? Or do you know? Pass. What is the oldest of the sacred books of Hinduism? C as in... Sorry. Okay, that is correct. How many years passed between the first manned flight and the first manned spaced flight? Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. Your first question for rotation three here is, what family was the first to settle and build in Avon Lake? Mm-hmm. Uh, my guess would be C, but I don't know if that's right or not. That is incorrect. <laughs> Adam Miller. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Avon, Avon Lake, courtesy of the Avon Lake Historical Society. <laughs> Just a little plug. All right. I don't think there's any Taylor Swift in the semifinals. <laughs> um, okay, next. In Egyptian mythology, who was the wife of Osiris? Isis. Yeah. C, Isis. That is correct. Which Catholic Pope was Pope three times? C is a great guess, but it is not correct. It was Pope Benedict the Ninth. In what year was the first gay pride parade in the U.S.? Scott, what does your gut say? My gut says uh, D. I trust Scott's gut. Uh oh, that's not good. <laughs> That is incorrect. Oh. It was a decade on the turn of the decade. So there's a similarity to your answer. It was oh, 1970. It was, <laughs> it was 1970. I didn't know uh, enough to guess. I was. First question. Before London became the capital in the 12th century, which English city was most prominent? I have no guess. <laughs> I'm going with B. That is correct. <laughs> Whose death was caused by the tooth of a decapitated rival? Let's guess C. Any other guess? That is incorrect. Dr. Evelyn Hooker won a grant from what organization to study gay men? Pass. This question is sponsored by Lorraine County Community College. Let's get started. After accidentally burning himself at a sink with hot water, this inventor patented the single, first single-handled <clears throat> mixing faucet. What was his name? Ooh. <laughs> Moen? A. A. That is incorrect. Um, I think we have a guest on the call who would like to say something. Hi, Alex, we picked you. I know, that was the trick. So, fun fact, my family and I wrote all of these history questions, and this one was a trick because I made the first one very close to my name. No, the correct well, answer yeah. is the Alfred Moen. <laughs> but you'll think about that the next time you wash your hands, which we should all be doing quite a lot, always, but especially now. Which of these states joined the Confederate States of America during the Civil War? Sure, A. 
I was an English major, guys. I don't know. <laughs> that is incorrect. Would you like to use your do-over? Yes. All right. Thanks for asking. <laughs> so now we just call out a different answer? I'm feeling Missouri. A, either B or D. B. Oh, but not C? I have any pick. Missouri? That sounds great. Pick oh, one. Course. Oh, maybe we should have listened to Ebony. It was C, Texas. I'll go back on mute now. <laughs> See, we're not doing so good. <laughs> not our day. In Elizabethan England, what did the word gossip refer to? Ooh. Do we have anything like a hint or anything? You still have a... No. You don't. <laughs> Oh, no! <laughs> All right. Politician it is. That is incorrect. It is a, it is a friend or a neighbor. I'm going to go back on mute. That camera. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster invented Superman in Cleveland. What year was Superman created? I have no better guess than B. Final answer that is correct. Which of these championship sporting events was the first to be held? I think it was I think it was A. A, we'll go for it. Final answer? That Fair. is correct. How many different men have been been president of the United States? Oh my god, how many presidents are there? Around 46. 46. Someone repeat. Oh. <laughs> Do you have I think it's less than that. Time's up. <sighs> 46 president. The answer is 45. Oh, sorry. You're going the right way with the repeats. <laughs> On June 26, 2015, what was legalized in the U.S. for all 50 states? Ooh, it was B. Correct. Yes, it was B. The Cuban Missile Crisis was a result of the U.S. discovering that which nation had stationed missiles in Cuba. What are we thinking here? Oh, thanks, D. That is correct. Nice. From an aerial view, what does the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame look like? Is it a pyramid, guys? Time's up. Um, it was actually a record player. What was the name of the confederation of five, later six nations across upper New York State? What are you guys thinking? B is... Definitely northern, but I don't know if it's too far west. B would be my best guess. So Michelle is saying D. D. Okay, go for it. That is incorrect. It is the Iroquois. Um, <laughs> this is a really fun question. I'm excited about it. Your first question is, what famous leader was once attacked by rabbits? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. How about D? You say D? Yeah, I mean, why not? That is incorrect. It was Napoleon. <laughs> Interesting. Oh my goodness. I could see that. <laughs> uh, when I saw this question, I was like, I have no idea, but it just feels like Napoleon. <laughs> that was my, I was just like, it just feels right. Um, what is the Lake Erie Monster's name? C. 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 Yeah. C. A little messy. That is un incorrect, but it rhymes with your guest, South Bay Bessie. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, never heard of that. Which Egyptian pharaoh believed in the idea of a single god? In a way. Yeah, go for it. Let's have a hint. It is not Nefertiti. Okay. okay. Let's say two dumb comments. I think it's D then if it's not A. Yeah, let's, let's go with D. Yeah. What date did Ohio enter the Union? I feel like it's A. That okay. Is, a. That is correct. Yes. Modern opera has its origins in what country? I would say A. Italy, yeah. Right? Yeah, Italy. Yeah. That is correct. What is the name of the first operating professional baseball team? Um, B, I think. Cincinnati Red Stockings. That is correct. What university opened for the first office for LGBTQ students in the U.S.? C or A? 
Your time is up. That was the University of Michigan. The next question is, what character is a wise cracking sailor who gains strength after eating spinach? Popeye. Popeye. Hey. Which of the following was invented first? The telephone, right? Yeah, I would think telephone. B. B, telephone. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. The fax machine was invented first. Wow. Surprising, but we're all learning something here today, aren't we? Charles P. Conrad was famous for... You guys want to pass this one? Yes. Yes. Pass. Okay. Oberlin College was founded as... <laughs> I'm waiting for Rebecca to answer. <laughs> you know, I, I'm going to go with Oberlin College. I, do you okay. guys think is that wrong? Uh, all right, Oberlin College. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. Ebony, would you like to give your answer? Oberlin Collegiate Institute. Uh, correct. <laughs> that is correct. I was going to jump in and say, um, if you give me one of your points, I'll give you the answer. <laughs> We're making deals now. <laughs> okay. Uh, what tribe of Native Americans was the first to encounter the pilgrims? And you guys do still have a pass, just as a note. Correct, Ryan? No, we used it. Just kidding. You don't. You don't have a pass anymore. Do you, do you guys think D? Sure. I I don't have a... You're way smarter. Go with D. <laughs> Amanda, choose. I, I just, I know it's not A. We'll, we'll go with D. Final answer. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. Uh, it is not A, so you're right there. Um, it is actually C. Okay. Oh. Well, there. <laughs> You're both wrong. Great. <laughs> Actually, I'm surprised you haven't tried to get it a half point yet. That's oh, it's really, really hard. <laughs> Let me tell you. Oh, I want to so get so many points for. I want to get so many points for effort. Um, so many points. Which American TV show featured a flying squirrel and mute moose? Rocky and Bullwinkle. B. Correct. Correct. So who was the Shawnee chief orator and military leader who directed <laughs> resistance to white rule in the Ohio River Valley? I think Tecumseh. Do you guys disagree? Nope. C. That is correct. What Russian city was the site of a multi-year siege during World War II? I don't know why I'm, I'm leaning towards... Mm. A. A it is. Heather. A. That is correct. Which Did of the following is oldest? I'm the... Mars board. So we are going to let you choose. Would you like to go first or second in the finals? I'd like to go second. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Take a deep breath. Yeah. All right. All right. Great Gatsby. Are you ready for your first question? What legendary founder of Rome was killed by his brother Romulus? Remus. That is correct. Where are the crown jewels on display in London? Oh, the Tower of London, right? Yeah. That is, that is yep, correct. Tower of London. Yeah. That is correct. Your next question is, 1929 marks beginning of what major economic event? Great Depression. No, the Great Depression. Final answer? Yes. That is correct. For some local history, in what city did Javon Terrence show his clothing line in September 2019? Lorraine. <laughs> I think. Final answer. Yep. That is incorrect. That is in New York City. Oh. Uh. <laughs> well, that's cool. <laughs> also, thanks to the Lorraine Historical Society for that question. Thank you to both teams uh, for making it through this tough set of questions. It was a lot of fun for us. Good job, guys. It was fun playing. Yeah, thanks yeah. so much. One.
Congratulations. Mostly, mostly. <laughs> and may the Lorraine Levy's pass. Oh, and may the Lorraine Levy's pass. All the library levies. We love libraries. All the libraries, yes. Thank you. <laughs> I just want to say congrats to both teams. It's, it's kind of two different examples here of, of the great Gatsby's who've been with us for a while and have won a championship in spelling a couple of times and now branched out into the other games. And then the Mars Board, who joined for the first time and advanced all the way to the finals. So this was a lot of fun. We really appreciate your support.